Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. This is the part three video of this series. Now let's try to implement the read operation, means fetching the data from the GraphQL endpoint and try to bind it to our UI. Okay, so first let's create a module. So in that module, I will contain all the child components for my CRUD operation. Okay, so first let's create the modules. So command is like ng generate module. Okay, and name of the module. Since I am going to deal with fruits, right? I am going to name it like fruits module. And along with the fruit module, I want to create the routing module as well. So give flag like iPhone hyphen, hyphen routing. Okay, create. Okay, here you can see a fruit module and a fruit routing module files are created. Uh, once let me go to my folder structure and inside of the SRC app folder, you can see a new folder, nothing but a new module. Okay. And uh, and my module files okay so now let me add a uh, lazy loading in my sample for that go to app module app routing module okay here let's configure the module okay so path is like empty strings represent the home path okay and here i want to load the uh, my fruit component okay so you have to use the property like load children, okay? And it's going to take a arrow function, import, and here pass our fruits module. Okay, that's it. So it's represents the lazy loading. Now let's create a child module inside of the sorry child component inside of my fruit module so my child component name is home so in this home component i am going to render the content that fetches from the graphql endpoint okay first first let's create the home component okay so command is like ng generate component and name of the component first where, where I want to create inside of the fruits module. So specify the folder path fruits. And next, my component name. My component name is home. Okay. And I don't want to create any test files. So I can give a flag like it tests. Okay. Here you can see my home component files are created. Okay. Let me show the folder structure. Instead of the fruits, now I have component like home. Okay. Now go to the fruits routing module. Okay. Let's add the uh, routing at module level. Okay. So I have to go to fruit routing module here. Path empty represents home path and uh, which component that needs to be loaded. So that is home component. Okay. Now, uh, if we go to our db.js file, this is the JSON structure we are going to get in our uh, GraphQL endpoint, right? So let's create a response model inside of the fruits module. Okay. So for that, I can use command like ng generate. Okay. And uh, um, module like, sorry, I can use interface inside of the fruits folder, right? And name of my model, I will name it like fruits only. Okay. So file got created. If I go to fruit.ts. Okay. This is my interface. Okay. So I just want to 
create the properties inside of this. Okay. Number string number number. Okay. So I have created the fruits module and I want to create the query operation command uh, to use it instead of my home component. We know how to create the GraphQL query operation, right? So if I go to browser, here you can see my GraphQL uh, development tool. Okay, here we know how to create a query. So first we have to check the schema. So query schema, I want to fetch all the uh, data. That means I have to use the all fruits resolver method. So first thing is query. Okay. And next thing is all fruits I want to invoke. Inside of it, I want properties, all properties. Okay. ID, name, quantity, and then uh, price. Okay. So this is my query. I have to use this query exactly like this, this query command. So I want to store it somewhere. For that, let me create a file. Okay. So ng generate. I'm going to create a class. Okay. Inside of the fruits module means fruits folder. I, I want a new folder like GQL. And inside of it, I want to create a file like fruits iPhone query dot query dot ts. Okay. So all GraphQL query operation comments I am going to add in this file. Okay. No need extension and iPhone iPhone. Keep. Okay. Okay. File got created. Let's go to fruit query file. I don't want to use any classes. I just export constants as a constants from here. Okay. Export. Okay. Get roots. Okay. This is my constant name. And inside inside of it, it to, uh, in this constant, I have to store the my query we just created. But I cannot directly store it like a string. For that, it should be encapsulated around GQL. So that's loads from Apollo slash Angular. And now open Pactix. Okay, so it represents some kind of dynamic value. Okay, nothing but our query command. Copy this. We know if you run it, we will get all the data, right? So copy this query command. Paste it here instead of the back ticks. Okay, now go to home component.ts file. We need to invoke the API call, right? So it should be loaded when the component is loaded. That means API call must be happened inside of the ng on init method. Okay. For that, we need to inject a service like private Apollo and service is Apollo. Okay. So this Apollo loads from Apollo iPhone Angular library. Okay. Now I can use this. Okay. This dot. So all the data, whatever. It's coming from the API. I want to store it in a variable, like observable variable. So name a variable like fruits and prefix with postfix with dollar that represents the variable is a observable, just a convention. Okay. And its type is observable of fruits array or fruits array. Okay. Initially, we have to assign some. A empty array. So I have to use since it is observable, right? Right. So as an MC, you can use off operator from RSJX. Okay. And open braces inside of it as in the array, empty array. Okay. Now to this all fruits property, I will as in this dot Apollo. Okay. So Apollo contains some predefined methods. Okay. In that for querying, we have to use watch query okay and so here uh, it is better to give the type of watch query 
so how we have to define means by default data will be the root and inside of it what is the data type data type will be all fruits and all fruits type will be the array of fruits right so this type must be defined so for that what i will do data will be object right object and what property data it contains all fruits okay because this this variable name comes from this resolver method okay whatever name he, here is given that will come unless if you give a alias name in the request that is a different concept i am not going to show here okay so by default the name here we used will be written as a response so that name here and what it is it giving array of fruits so i have to define like fruits array of fruits okay so that is fine and now query so in the watch uh, uh, watch query method open bracket and it contains object uh, insert the object and object contains some properties like query to this query okay to this query property we have to pass our constant get fruits constant okay so go to home component and pass it and import the namespace okay and next since it is always watching query right it re returns like on value changes okay so pipe okay here i am going to map with uh, i am going to fetch the data results so map that loads from ngrx okay inside of it use a arrow function okay read response as result so that result is nothing but the so result dot data okay so this data property nothing but this data property okay and what it will contains it will contains all fruits so written it okay so what we are doing we are using apollo service and it contains watch query okay and we have defined the type of output it's going to return okay and here we have to pass our query operator command constant okay we have to listen for value changes once the api is successful data is uh, mapped and uh, filtered and written to this variable okay since this is observable once the data it receives uh, if we use this variable in the html it will bind the data okay so now go to home component dot html now here let's add the uh, table and try to bind our response to the table for that go to bootstrap okay here in the bootstrap uh, go for table component so in the content you can see the table go to tables okay and copy some random table okay, with some data let me copy this table html okay so add some container div okay and let me add the table here and headers like id name quantity price okay and anyway we are going to loop the data let's remove the static tier single tier is enough okay so on that single tier star ng for okay let item of so what is our variable all fruits dollar since it is a observable 
we should use a sync pipe okay so now i can bind here data item dot id item dot name and item dot quantity and sorry item dot price okay so we are good i think you you have to run both a graphql server and your anger application okay now let's go to browser and access my anger application localhost 4200 okay table is coming and data is also binding see data so if i inspect element for developer tools okay go to network calls okay once reload again i want to show the http call so here is our http call okay local 3000 okay which is nothing but our graphql endpoint and if you see the payload if you see the payload see my query what is this this is the query nothing but uh, we have added right this one get fruit constant and this one we are passing here to this query property so that is like a string it is passing to the graphql server so graphql server can understand this is graphql syntax okay you hover on this see it is nicely showing what is the object okay and in the response you can see in the preview you can see the response data inside of data another property name that is all fruits and inside of it it contains my data and that data is binding here okay that means we have successfully completed the read operation next we are going to do uh, some create operation means using mutate command we are going we are trying to save the save a item at the server using the graphql endpoint okay i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off